Welcome back to yet another server pod tutorial. In the last video, we have seen how to create your server to perform CRUD operations. In today's video, we will see how to consume those methods inside your Flutter application. So let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Afzal and you're watching Channel Code X. With server pod project, you will get this Flutter template out of the box. So what I'm going to do with the same template, I will demonstrate all the CRUD operations and at the end of the video, I will use list view with a swipe feature to make it a real world example. So let's create an article object and this is a very big advantage that you only need to generate model on the server side with the YAML and the same model you can access here inside the Flutter project. It makes life much easier, isn't it? Let's go ahead and use the client operation. So this client is declared on the top over here, which connects to localhost at port 8080. So if you want to change to different environment, make sure to change that URL. Let's get back to the client. And using the article endpoint, we will call add article method, which accepts article as a parameter. This method have a return type of future. So let's use a sync and await. Now to handle any exception which may occur due to several reasons like network, resources, authorization, etc. It's a good idea to wrap the endpoint call inside a try catch. Now let's talk about the successful case. After adding article, we'll just display a text message as a result and all done. Let's give it a run and insert the article. And here we have a successfully inserted item. Let's also verify the same on Postico editor. We should see one record after refresh and here we have it. Cool, isn't it? Now I'm going to add one more article inside DB directly so that when we perform the fetch operation, at least there are some articles, some records to show. Now inside Flutter, let's create fetch article method and it will have exactly same implementation. But instead of add article, we will call get article and also it has a return type of list of article uh, so we will print number of records it has fetch let's call this method from the same button and see if we get two results or not and perfect we have two articles in the db now we can also add filter to the same method and search for relevant article for that purpose i will just provide the keyword and here we have one matching article with the word flutter that's the beauty of server pod. You're calling the method as in it's written in the same file. And now it's time to modify the layout and make it a real world example. So for that, I have used a list view and fetched all the articles as soon as page initializes. On swipe, you can perform edit and delete operations. And if you want to insert a new article, click on the fab button at the bottom. Now I totally understand that it's not easy to follow along with all this information. For that purpose, I have provided git source in the description below. Well, that being said, we have seen complete CRUD operation with adding, deleting, modifying and fetching the articles from Postgres DB. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have any doubts, make sure to leave the comment or discuss on Discord channel. Hit like and subscribe for more such content. I will see you guys with another server pod video later.